Hey, this is Sarge here at C4 Defense, and today we're going to check out my brand new Taurus 605 Toro, the first optic ready defensive revolver ever. This corner Taurus. Um, let's go ahead, we're going to put some on steel, and then we'll run it over to the vents and check it out. So let's go ahead and do a couple single action. Sorry about that. All right, one more, and then we'll do double. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Run some 38 specials through it. We'll shoot some 357 after we take a closer look. All right, now let's check out the Taurus 605 Toro. Then go ahead and grab it out of the Save Your Equipment range bag. Now I got lucky the other day and found one of these in town and uh, they just made me a deal I couldn't refuse. So I picked it up. It's not much different than the other 605s as far as weight. It weighs like 23 and a half ounces, I think is what they listed as. Uh, 4.8 inches tall, a little over seven inches long. Because this one, this is like their Defender series. This has the three inch barrel. And I th one thing I thought was interesting that I didn't know is this has got a little pin right there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can knock that little roll pin out and you could change that sight out. So I guess maybe I can find a tall sight and maybe Taurus makes one for uh, either easier to see if you're shooting it without an optic. But of course, I shot it as intended with an optic and we'll go over that here in just a second. But width, it's like 1.4 inches wide. So it's really not much wider than any other like semi-automatic. They're all going to be around that same width. So it's it's not bad at all. It has a really nice texture, some knurling on the hammer so you can get a hold of it if, you, if you're going to shoot single action. And it's got the safety bar. So it is a safe gun to carry. And it's got some really nice knurling on the on the the cylinder release and like i said don't mind the blue paint i was painting my target so i apologize for that now the grips the grips are a little small but it's meant to be carried this is meant for an edc for concealment and it's not that i can't grip it because i can it's not it's not that bad but i, I would like to get a little bit better grip for it um i know that when i talked to Locke out in vegas that they had some tourists in their shop and they were getting ready to make some so i can only assume that they would make some for this 85 series 605 856 you know their most popular j-frame i would think they'll they'll make some for this and as far as in this configuration i went ahead and got a hollow sun 407k for it because this is the k pattern what this what it is is there are two holes drilled in the top strap of this and it comes with this base it fits in there you put a little threat loctite on your on your screws you put them in properly and then i mounted a 407k and it, it it's really it added like this thing weighs 25 ounces now unloaded so it added an ounce and a half now height it you know and it added probably three quarters of an inch to almost seven eighths of an inch so it had a little bit of height but when you're in, when it's in a holster and if anybody has an idea of what holster will fit this because i have one for a snubby 85 but i won't hold this three inch and i don't know about with the optics so if anybody knows about a holster that'll fit it please let me know and put a comment below. Um, and there you go, that's it. Like I said, typical five shot, J frame, nice and light, ejector rod. I mean, this is, it's a good little gun, not a bad trigger pull, but let's go ahead and put some on steel and try it out. Like I said, this is a very sweet little revolver. Taurus has got their, uh, they've done their homework. They've done a pretty good job on this thing. So let's run another run of 38 special and then we'll run some hornady through it and like i said before i apologize for the blue paint but it's uh that's the way it is but all your speed loaders work for any of your other j frames so let's put some more on steel see what we can do with this thing let's uh let's try that one right there yeah look at that right in the middle yeah like i said we don't have the most uh the most uh, capacity, but we need to, don't need the most capacity. So five rounds to do the job. And the good thing about a revolver, if it doesn't go bang, pull the trigger. It'll go bang at some point. Now I'm gonna run some Hornady 38 Special through it. 
we'll, we'll try that out. There we go. I haven't shot this stuff yet. I'm, I'm sure it's a little spicier than the regular 38 Special. I'm going to thumbcock this one. So let's try that big one right there. Oh, this isn't, this must be light. This has to be light. Because this has, this has no recoil. So I'll have to look at the specs on that. That would be, uh, that would be super easy to carry as far as 38 Special goes. Like I said, the double action isn't bad. Single action, of course, is super sweet. And the one thing I did notice is just like any other red dot for I, I realize there's some people out there that aren't familiar with red dots and it may, it may still be new to them what you have to do is you have to get used to it and you have to get up there and get your sight picture and you kind of got to tilt it down just a little bit and i'm noticing with the revolver there's a little learning curve on this versus the semi-automatic so it's taken me just a, a second to find it but i'm going to get used to it because with a revolver and a red dot it doesn't move it stays there it's very accurate where with a semi-auto, it's riding the slide and it takes you a second to get the sight picture. So this is, uh, this is pretty neat. Anybody that doesn't have a, has, have a red dot revolver, you need to treat yourself. All right, now let's run some 357 through it. This is some PPU 158 grain 357. And of course it should be, uh, it should be pretty hot. I'm gonna thumb cock the first couple get used to it then I'll uh I'll double action the last three so let's get ready for it wow that's not the worst it could use a little bit better it could use a little bit better grip wow I don't know how that looks in slow motion but there's a lot of fire going on that's for sure let's run the PMC brass 158 grain through 158 grain through it now. Like I said, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna thumb cock the first two and then I'll blast through the double action the last three. So here we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, I didn't see if I could hit that little one. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Well, I messed up there. Let's go back one so we can double action it. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Now, the only thing left is self-defense because that's what this is. It's the first defensive red dot revolver ever made. So I guess I need to put five through it and double action that static target as fast as I can. So I think we ought to go with 357 because that's what we're going to carry. Let's see if I can put all five on it. PMC bronze as far as uh, the ammo goes, 158 grain. When I shot this out in Vegas, I, it was cold that day. It was rainy. I only got to shoot one cylinder through it. I, I elected for the 357 and it, it, it felt uh, a little bit wilder than it does right here. It's not that bad today. It's, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a handful. But that three inch barrel helps, uh, the, the added weight, the, little, the couple ounces here and there help out. Um, the 38's smooth as can be. So for target shooting, 38 special, this thing is gonna be so much fun. I, like I said before, I would like just a little bit better grip. And I think if my pinky was on it, I would hold that, third, that 357 just a little bit better. So I'm gonna check with lock, see if they've got some grips. But as far as a handy little gun, this is it. And of course, you know, you can see it's blowing things out because it's a revolver. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna put five on the static target, double action. I'm gonna see if I can keep them all on there. So here we go. All right. <laughs> Woo! I was, uh, I could definitely tell I was moving it around versus uh, versus if it was a little bit lighter round, I probably would have kept it a little bit more stable, but I was getting used to it. But 
I really like this 357. I've become quite a fan of that ram lately. Uh, I don't know whether it's just because it's old school or what, but a red dot revolver, man, definitely treat yourself. The, the MSRP on this is pretty low. I think it's like 479 MSRP. So, and then a little bit of red dot and you have got a fantastic little setup. So see you on the range.